Combined on a single seat, Nuke and Hero offers artists a workflow that encompasses VFX compositing, conform, review, editorial and shot management. In effect, Hero gives Nuke the timeline that artists have been requesting. Since its creation, we have worked hard to ensure the workflow between these two apps is as seamless as possible, so that single users completing multiple parts of a project can do this quickly and efficiently. This video will take you through an overview of the workflow from Conform to Render with two of the Foundry's cutting-edge applications. With Hero, we can bring in an EDL or XML given to us from Editorial to start our project and build our initial timeline. As you would expect, we can match media to that timeline, fix any timecode issues from the dedicated and customizable spreadsheet window, compare our conform to an offline clip via the A and B buffers whilst using any of the scopes and pixel sampling tools. Also, Hero can transcode or reconform to different formats that might be more suitable for compositing. Hero's editorial tools allow us to edit directly in application from scratch without the need of an EDL or XML. If there are any adjustments or revisions needed to an existing sequence, the tools can also help save an extra round trip outside of Hero. This enhances Hero as a single seat solution and allows us to really set up our timeline exactly the way we need for the next stage of our VFX process. From Hero, we can create the directory structure to suit your project's needs and this allows us to easily bring in new renders and versions of media once your VFX work has been done. If we are in a pinch for time, we can also use some of the basic default settings from inside Hero to save a step. When we export from Hero, we can choose to collate tracks based on how we have organised our timeline. This makes it even easier to do custom transitions or any VFX work with multiple clips. This Hero generated Nuke script for example has two shots collated together and we can use transforms and roto nodes to add a quick custom transition from Nuke. Everything Nuke needs to collate the two tracks and render back into Hero is set up on export so all we need to do is add our VFX and hit the render button. The result then populates automatically inside of Hero for us to review. We can repeat this process for a more complex shot but this time we are going to use Hero as a media library to send pre-rendered elements over to our live Nuke session for us to comp into the shot. Once we are happy with our VFX comp, we can render out a version as we work through to see how our VFX is progressing. We will need to do this round trip a few times and as we render new versions out, we can now also version up in each render inside of Hero until we decide on a preferred version. The link between the two apps makes it really easy to continually see your shots in context with the confidence that the data and colour management is consistent. Once you've completed the VFX shots, and even if anyone else in your team has helped you, you can rebuild your main VFX timeline by the build track option and search it through all the render folders associated with the project. Now that the VFX timeline has been constructed, and once all the renders have been completed, you need to decide on the final sequence of shots based on the multiple versions that you have available. This is also where you would do your final review of the project and see everything in context with audio playback. The next step is to use Hero to export the final version. This can be done as a movie file with embedded audio, image sequence or an EDL or XML file for either delivery, reference to get signed off or even to be sent onto the finishing stage of the post-production process where a final grade, legals etc might be added. As you can see, using Hero and Nuke together can be beneficial not only to a VFX department but can be just as effective to a single seat user taking on a whole project. Ultimately, Hero will save you time in conform, maintain up to date timelines, see shots in context with versioning, keep consistent colour management with Nuke and also eliminates a lot of the complicated manual processes associated with VFX. We encourage you to try the power and efficiency of the Hero and Nuke workflow. This is the kind of workflow that can make a real difference for freelance artists and single seat users.